Rise and shine, YouTubers. Don't forget to subscribe because it's our smell a lot with another Aventus clone review. Hi, it's just Mellot here. Today I'm just going to do a comparison video of current formulations of Aventus versus this fragrance, Evento Uomo by Roberto Capucci. Sorry if I've offended any members of the Italian community. I'm not going to specify any particular Aventus batch. I'm just going to talk generally speaking about modern batches of Aventus 2021, 2020, and how it holds up to this fragrance here. I am not talking about classic holy grail batches of Aventus. Forget about that. Okay, so I want to I want to stress that to begin with. Okay, so what I want to first is compare are bottles. I don't own a 100ml or 120ml or a 50ml bottle of Aventus. I do own a bottle of Green Irish Tweed. I don't think Creed bottles are anything to write home about. I think the Millicene Imperial, I think that's the one that's kind of a completely gold. That looks kind of nice, but you know, I don't think they're great. They're not bad either. Um, so this, you know what, I, I like it. it. It is kind of um, basic, but I like that. I like when companies who are selling fragrances that are um, on the lower end of the price scale go for this kind of thing it's nice it's basic but it's nice i, I like it um it's got a plastic cap but so do a lot of designer and niche fragrances of plastic caps but you know it's not completely lightweight do you know it's got to be substance to it you know it's a decent cap if you've ever had um a creed bottle you know that their spares are pretty fantastic you know you, you can't deny them that and they shoot out a lot of juice so you wouldn't be going for maybe more than one or two sprays, or you might do half sprays. Um, the only downside this is, I suppose, that the, um, the sprayer isn't the best on this. It kind of doesn't go fully down. It's a bit, you know, I mean, it's functional, but it's not giving a nice... Um, It's a bit uh, stunted. Um, it's not, the sprayer isn't the best on this. It, it's functional, but not the best. When it comes to the bottles, I would say Creed is, you know, ahead. It's got a better bottle, fair enough. Go! All right, so that's one to Creed. Let's talk about the smell. Comparing this to the current formulation of this is always gonna Go back to one core thing, and that is consistency, quality control, or whatever you want to call it. When you buy Vento Uomo, you're going to get a consistent smell. You're going to get the same smell all the time. Which smells better, this or Ventus? Yeah, I mean, you may have, you may get lucky and get a, a batch of Ventus that smells, which I've had more recent version that smells pretty much on the money. It smells that old classic um, Ventus smell nice pineapple opening and it's got a nice birch dry down but unfortunately a lot of the time you're not going to get that you may even get batches that don't really have much in the way of birch or pineapple i mean what's that about like it's not aventus but with this you get that classic aventus smell and it's consistent yeah maybe it doesn't hold up to a decent batch that you may come across but for me consistency is more important i'm going to get something that's maybe 90-95% as good as a current batch of Aventus and it's consistent you're going to get it every time every time good quality control good consistency in their factory wherever they make it I don't know what to do I don't I do not know what to do with Creed why they can't consistent product maybe they play up on the batch thing now because people are just obsessed with batch numbers and they, and you they end up buying multiple bottles you see guys with 20 bottles of Aventus I mean I think I think they've turned um, a quality control issue into a good thing and fair play to them. I mean, if you want to go into rabbit hole in that, fair enough. I'm not going to do it. You know, so who wins on this? Uh, Roberto Capucci, which is better smelling? 
this because it's got the consistency factor and this doesn't go so it's one all at the moment performance it's going back to the same thing again that root problem of consistency you're going to get about it's go, it, this is a moderate performer it, it it's not poor and it's not great it's it, it's moderate it's it's got um, a moderate siage in it it longevity is about eight hours on this and it's going to project for about an hour and a half two hours you know people are going to smell it like you know but you know they're not going to smell it from across the room but you know if they're in your if they're in your bubble you know they're, they're going to get a whiff of it and it's you know and you're going to get and well if a person is into an Aventus kind of type smell, they'll, they'll give you a compliment. Not everybody likes Aventus. Unfortunately, it is not Sauvage. You know, end of the day, Sauvage is more mass appealing. And if you are looking for a fragrance that is going to appeal more to women, maybe, if, like, I mean, it's been said time and time again by many reviewers, it, this is not a, a panty, this or Aventus is not a panty drop of fragrance. Okay, let's go back to Modern Matches Aventus. You could get one in the last 10 hours and it's bordering on moderate. So I don't think any of them are beast mode anymore. You're not going to get that. With reformulations and then probably cheaping out on ingredients. Uh, I think that's what's going on with Creed as well. They can blame reformulations all you want, like, but you know, I think it's it's a bit of both. Yeah, you may get a fragrance that lasts 10 hours and maybe moderate to strong uh, performer. One that I got recently, I mean, with the smell, the smell was great. It smelled like the old classic Aventus, but the performance was piss poor. Light, a light performer, um, light siage, longevity was about four or five hours. I mean, you know, we paying what, 300 euro for, for that kind of performance? That is just disgraceful. It's, it's fucking disgraceful. <laughs> it really is. Um, so once again, Roberto Capucci it's consistent. You're gonna get you're gonna get consistency, but you're gonna get eight hours each time. I don't know, it depends on your skin. I got good skin. You might you might get six hours, but that's you know, not to be sneezed at. Um you may get ten hours, depending on how if you've got oily skin and your skin can hold a fragrance well, you know. I get, I'm gonna get about eight hours with this. Go to Roberto Capucci. What else? Price. You're gonna be paying anywhere between ten and maybe twenty five euro. For this fragrance here now the only problem with this fragrance is it's not really readily available this is an italian fragrance if you're based in italy no problem if you're based in germany no problem where i'm based ireland there's only one site at the moment that lived to me and it's a german site that sells italian uh, fragrances i can't pronounce it properly i list it below it is a bit of a problem getting a hold of this but then again you may live i don't know in some city that doesn't have um um, that doesn't stock Creed, so you'll have to get it online. But it, obviously, it's very easy um, to find online. They get sent to you. So, but there is there is a site at the moment, and you can get this. You can get it for about under twenty euro. That's not including delivery. Maybe they're going to be doing a bulk order. If you're getting this delivered on its own, um, it may cost you about thirty euro. It's easier if you're on mainland Europe. It's easier to get this. If you're based in the UK, if you're or if you're based in Ireland, it's going to be harder. So let's say it goes anywhere between ten and thirty. So. Let's look at the high end, 30, possibly 10 times cheaper than Aventus. No, but Aventus is just, just not worth the money, you know, what you're talking about, I don't know, 250, 300 euro, I don't know. Um, depending, if if you're buying it in a bricks and mortar store, it's going to cost you. If you buy your Aventus from France, it's going to be cheaper, but still, you know, you're still going to be talking maybe at least, you know, it's going to be 10 times more expensive than this fragrance here. Go! What else is there to talk about? I mean, Aventus is the only one in the bottle. Like, I mean, some people don't give a shit about bottles. I know I don't care. Yeah, I mean, it's an added bonus if you've got a nice bottle. But, um, you know, it's in the days with the juice. What are you going to do? Carry the bottle around your neck? And people say, oh, yeah, that, because, yeah, that's what you probably have to do with Aventus these days is actually get some kind of chain to hook the Aventus bottle on so people will know that you're an Aventus because they're certainly not going to smell it because it just doesn't perform well a lot of batches yeah so I can't really think of anything else um, to compare these two on bottom line is this is better than Aventus do stop wasting your money on Aventus don't buy it anymore 
by this fragrance. Evento Uomo by Roberto Capucci. This is a, a spicy meatball. Sorry, sorry again. I know this, it's pretty offensive. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, thumbs up in this fragrance. It's got that classic Evento smell going on. Um, it's it's more citrusy than pineapple, but you do get the hint of pineapple. You do get that pineapple smell, which is um, which is lacking in um, it's a tart pineapple and a sweet pineapple that is lacking in most Aventus clones, but you do get it. It is there. Um, it this is more of a citrus opening on it, and you get the birch. It's a nice, nice birch. Rub. It's not for very. It's not a, It's not clubbed in really intense manner. It's not super heavy on the birch, but you get everything. You get you're getting the classic smell. You're getting what you want. You get that nice citrus. Pineapple opening, and you get a birch straight on. There's no guarantee you're gonna get that with Aventus. You know, I mean, you're gonna pay three hundred euro, and you don't know what you're getting. Pfft. You know, I'm done with that. I used to, I used to get um five hundred mil flacons of Aventus, in and I used to de uh, decant it and do splits. I'm not gonna do it anymore because these five hundred mil flacons uh, leak. Uh, Le label use the same flacons. You know, they don't even have their own design flacons. They just buy it from some fucking warehouse and they leak 500 ml bottle of creed green irish tweed and it was leaking half the bottle was missing and to and fro with nose france um in trying to get my money back and i was like you know what i'm done with creed i'm done with it i'm not buying any more creed uh, the performance isn't there and their bottles and their packaging is really really poor and i really blame nose france for them sending out leak leaking creed flacons so like I'm, I'm done with Aventus. Um, I'm done with, I'm done with Creed. Basically, I'm not giving them any more of my money. Um, I'm done with them. They're a joke at the moment, and they release joke fragrances now as well. Uh, I, do you know what? I haven't even sampled um Viking Clone, but I don't want to. You know, Aventus Clone. You know, you know, do you know what? Like, I think Viking's okay, but it shouldn't cost anything more than designer fragrances. It's, it's, it's. You know, it's not splitting the atom. You know, it's it's a decent fragrance, but um, Aventus Clone, very disappointing. Poor effort. Uh, I haven't even tried Viking Clone. The one I tried, I don't care about. All right, so I went on a bit of a rant there at the end. Sorry about that, but um, yeah, it's just um, it's just my views on Creed. All right, so that was my review of Evento Uoma by Roberto Cabucci. Go get it, please. Please. If you found this video interesting, please give me a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Thank you.